Hello, this is Victor with a new part. This is the fifth part on the painting tutorial of the Bermin Lord. So remember, if you want to know how I arrived to this part, you have to watch the previous uh, parts on the painting tutorial uh, where I have explained the different you know, how I have done the skin, the fur, the armor, and other details. On well, this part, I will try to finalize the work on, on this guy and I hope I, I can accomplish this on, on the fifth and final part. So let's go uh, to the paint job and we will keep working to finalize the top of the glaive. Remember, I went to the bottom to be able to glue. Now everything is glued on the base and you can see how uh, the base is looking like. It is not, it's still not finished, but I add some uh, schools and rocks and also this texture on the base. Okay, uh, we are going to work a little bit more on the base, but the base is not going to be included in this tutorial. Okay, I want to focus really on the miniature uh, in that case. Uh, I just explained from the base the parts that are not are coming with the miniature, but I the other parts that I added, I prefer to uh, to go forward and just do it on myself. So let's do one thing. Uh, this blade, okay, uh, if you want to know how it's done, is the same way as I will do this one. So I will not repeat this in the tutorial to avoid to make this too repetitive. I will just do this now uh, and then, uh, as I said, this part of the blade is going to be done exactly the same way I have done the other side of the glaze. So to avoid repetition, I will not repeat it here in the tutorial. If you want to know how this was done, it's explained in the previous part. You will be able to find it very easily. And if you cannot find it, please just drop me a message and I will uh, address you to the uh, tutorial where I explain how I did the blade like this one. Okay, to the same. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply BL Tank Green, a wash, a green wash, okay, uh, on this thing. Uh, I, I find when you have this type of texture, for me, most of the time it's working better doing a wash than really doing a dry brush. Okay, the wash will work perfectly. Uh, you will not, you should not have any problem. Uh, if you apply correctly, you should not pull because you have a very nice texture that will be enhanced uh, by the wash. Okay, now after applying the wash, we need to wait on this device. And when I apply wash normally, I prefer not to do any other job in the middle until this wash is dry. So while this is drying, I will uh, look, I will work on a different part. And as we need to do as well the head, let's go on the head and let's start working on the head. Okay. So let's work first on the face. On the face, I'm going to do as well a wash at this part. Okay, I know that I have not done this on the main body, but I think uh, here uh, we are going to do what will help to uh, show all the details of the uh, head, mouth, and then we can do the work on the highlights. And we also need to do the eyes, so this will help on, on the paint job. Okay, so I take a Rayland, Rayland, sorry, Rayland flesh shade, and we are going to apply this all over the, the face. Okay, long word is you did a little bit the horns. And the horns, I, I'm waiting to do the horns with the last part because I also want to do the hair. The hair, maybe I will do some dry brushing. Maybe this was a small mistake. Uh, after that, I will do the, the hair because they wash the hair and the hair before doing the highlights on the face because it's going to be. I always try to do the dirtier techniques first and then the cleaner techniques later. Okay. For me, dry brushing is the dirtiest of the techniques. It can be very uh, controlled, very nicely done, it can be very soft, but it's the, the, of all the techniques for me, is the one that you have less control on the position or on the, where you do the brush strokes. Okay. So now we need to wait that this also dries, and I will be back once both washes are dried. So now that the, the wash has dried, we are going to apply a second wash now and now on the hair. We are going to use noon oil. Any black wash will do the work. Uh, uh, we do this on the hair. Okay. We are going to apply it here. 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 And we go down to the Okay, 
so we try to avoid that is pulling anywhere and we have to be to, to be consistent and give a very nice even lay, layer here important that in the in these things we have a good shading this will help to do the next step that is going to be to highlight the texture I will let it dry so now the wash has dry and now I'm going to use mood green again to uh, add some highlights okay with uh, very carefully I will try to first starting from uh, starting from the end or the tip of this hair adding in some of this highlight with more mode green okay something that you can see now what I'm doing here I will do this one as well they want to add more expose Okay, I do here. This part, okay. Then we do this part here. Like that. <coughs> Sorry. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same type of operation. Just we pick some of the other side is not that important because it's not going to be much visible, but you want to do it on both sides. Okay, I like to do to do a consistent work in in both sides of the of this thing. Okay. There's one. So next what I'm going to do Okay, I will work on the blade as I have done the bottom one. So you will see next time the blade done. Uh, but as I said, it's been the same one as this one. So if you want to know how this was done, just go to the previous video and you will see the paint job, how the tutorial. Okay, but in order not to not repeat the same part. I will do this part of video. Okay, you can see now how it looks like. 
Okay, now I will do the, the blade and I come back. Okay, once we have all the washes done, all the, all the ones I wanted, uh, we are going to start working on the face. Okay, so I will start first uh, with the eyes. So for the eyes, first we will apply black uh, on the where we have the eyes. This helps to uh, make the eyes more visible. So in principle, to enhance the look of the eyes. I will not go for glowing eyes this time. I will just go for uh, maybe red eyes. So what is quite common on the rats. Okay, we do that like that. We do the other one on the other side. I think it will go for red, but not glowing. Okay, so we are going to use no red. I will use uh, Mephiston red. Okay, so we have applied first black in the eye, and now we apply red. Okay, so we leave the black around. Now we are going to put a little bit of orange. I will use a uh, 12 Slayer orange. Keep the red just in case need a little bit more. I'm going to do this. If I have the light, again, I was thinking I have not the light in the right position. Something like that. Do the same on the other side. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to use yellow. I will use a real yellow. This went a little bit not as I wanted, but okay. This one to the front. Okay. Now it's better. We'll go back with orange next to the yellow 
Okay, the orange is not very visible. Here I like it more. And because the the yellow went a little bit out there, and close this. Get any more the yellow and the reds. Now we'll take black again. And I will clean if I have done a mistake like this one. Good. Okay, time to highlight. Well, let's do the mouth first and then we highlight the, the face. So, to do the mouth, I'm going to do the tongue. Okay, and the tongue, I will do it. You can do it in. Yeah, I'm thinking how that makes sense. We'll do it on, on a red, a dark red color. So I will use Tusgor Fur. Okay. And I will put it in the tongue. I like with Bookman. No, but not too much. I want to keep the the, 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 the mouth quite dark. So I use a little bit of Bookman glow just to the, the tip of the tongue. Okay, this is going to be difficult to see it on, on the camera. Okay. Then on the teeth, I will start by using color like Valor Brown, so a yellowish color. side of the teeth. Okay. The bottom teeth. Good. I'm good. Over here. Okay. No. I'll keep it here just in case I need it. Back. I will take. Plate one flesh. We are going to do like that.
apply more here. And we'll do the same on the other one. Apply on the sides. And then the intention is to leave the base of the teeth of the teeth, sorry, in the yellow, in the previous yellow color. Okay, we just something like that. You will zoom. And now I'm going to take aqua air shade. First I will do the inside of the mouth to make it even darker. Okay. We want to apply this at the base of the teeth and in the space between the two teeth. Okay, for example, like that. And at the base. Okay, we have this nice shading. Let's go here. To keep this dirty. Or darker, I have to say. Dirty. Wanted to say darker. And we want to keep all the mouth dark inside. Okay, put on again a little bit of something like that. We wait the device the, the yeah. We will divide and maybe later on we have to do a second shading because it, it's uh, go inside, okay? So we will know the divides and I come back. Okay, once the wash has dry, I will anyway use Rhinos Hide and I will uh, help the wash by applying Rhinos Hide here on the teeth. I want it to apply it. Really as a thin line here. Okay. So we have, and then we go down. Okay. Something like that. We do the same on the bottom. So next, I'm going to start working on the highlights on the skin. So I will use Bookman Flow. We can use the, the same colors. But I will. I'm going to use uh, yeah, Bookman's Glow and then uh, Acadian Flesh Tone. Okay. So here we have the Acadian Flesh Tone. We have Bookman Glow somewhere. Here it is. Okay, here on the face, I, and then I will leave it also have kiss left flesh. So, first I go in some places here, I will go with uh, I will apply Cadian first. Okay, especially where we have a very pronounced wrinkle and then we use using Wolfman Glow here on the nose. Okay, and now I mix it with diluted Cadian flesh tone to have here the using carrier flesh tone quite thin down now we go with boom and go mix it with a little bit more of boom and glow I need to soften the transition so it's a little bit of white blending in a 
small potions. Okay, so here I'm not playing now. Mainly first ball, max low. Okay, and now I go with Cadian Flesh Stone. I do it like that, and now Bow Max Low. Again. Here. I want to use Cadian Flesh Stone. To this one. Okay, and now I will go with Bow Max Low next to it. Smooth death. So far is I'm playing just with Boomman Glow and Carrion Flipstone. I have not used yet the Kislev Flesh. Okay, what you can see, you can see now half uh, of the face and the other half. Okay, this is the other half now. I want to do first this thing here. Now we're going to do the other half. Okay, I'm going with Cadian Flesh Stone first. Same here. Now I do just a little bit of Bowman Glow. Here, I will do it here. Good. Mouth. So I'm going to apply it here in the lips. Do the same on the other side. Okay. And I will apply both my glove here. Stone and no, I think we'll go much low to soften that. You can see now this the transitions look quite a little bit stubby uh, still. Okay, so we're going to apply a little bit of mixture with Bowman Glow make it softer but the one thing that can help is now we will start using Cadian I sorry Kislev Flesh Stone for the most extreme highlights. Okay. This will help smooth the transitions of carrier flesh stone because we are going to add another color in the equation that is much lighter okay. for example here on the eyes we can add it here we can add it Just 
is here and here and on the extreme here okay. and now with cash keys and carrying we can smooth okay here you see we do the same on the ears we apply a little bit of keys left on the top this will make this is why when highlighting the black sometimes adding very light gray it's helping to do the highlight softer because you create higher contrast on, on, on this color and then the eye is automatic, automatically rebalancing all the contrasts we have on them. Okay. Keep playing a little bit of kiss lifts on different parts. Like that, we apply here at the bottom of the lips. Now we are ready to go for the gray. Okay, that, like that. So, what I realized we have some hair that is, um, is painted with the flesh tone. Okay, so I'm going to use the darkest gray that I have, that is um, ashing gray, and I will touch these parts that have not been well done before. So this I'm talking about mainly here. I have a, co a couple of hairs. Well, not well done. Okay. So, I review. Clean. I take a thinner brush and I go for a lighter color. And we are going to start with um, Dumbstone. <coughs> And here instead of dry brushing, I will go hair by hair all the hairs that I want to highlight. So we already did a wash and some of them. So we start popping up the texture with the wash, but now you can see I go and I touch the different hairs. Okay, so I do the same on the sides. Uh, but what I want to show you is that it's different and this is going to be very similar to what we did on the on the weapon we are going to go with grey and we are going to follow the texture of the of this first we will be administrating and later, uh, later on we are going to do the same uh, with um, sorry first we do with Thompson then we do later on we do with the administrating grey okay That and we go on the other side and I do in the opposite direction. Okay. So I will do the whole tails and I will be back. 
Okay, um, as you can see here, I have done all these highlights, but now I will go back to the main body. I will finalize the main body, and then we will final. We will do the head later. Okay. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to uh, finish uh, the the nails that was missing, and yeah, as you can see, I have done here the glaive, and it's done in the same way as the other one. So for the nails, I'm going to apply now. Uh, dry it back on the nails, okay? Uh, this, is not, this is not going to be the final color. But first we apply dry it back and then we will apply a lighter color. Uh, I was thinking if I go with black nails or, or lighter, I think at this time to have contrast with all the other parts I will do this technique. So first I apply the way at bark on the nails, okay, on all the nails, okay, like this one. So once we have applied the white bark on all the nails, I'm going to apply bane blade brown, okay, and we are going to do, leave the base of the nail with the dark color. We're going to do something like that. Okay, and we do the same for all the nails. Here, the nails are like that. Here we have we have not to miss the nails. Okay, do the rest, and I will be back. And finally, I'm going to use Rakar Flesh to give the final white is touch on the nail. Okay, again we go from the top and we leave visible the previous colors. Okay, so now we do the other hand. So with the same racker flesh, I'm going to do, I'll go down to the tail, I'm going to do these strings that uh, are holding uh, the, uh, used to put, to keep the blades at the end of the tail. Okay, so I will apply here racker flesh as well. Okay, this is quite not this type of string, so small ropes or how you want to call it these that are put there to keep this in place. Okay, so I apply this and I will be back. Next, I'm going to use Lead Belcher on the knives that he has at the end of the tail. Let's apply it like that. Okay. Something like that. So we will do for the two knives.
while the metallic on the blades is drying, uh, I will now use Auric Armor Auric Armor Vault, and I will uh, do some highlights here, and I will do as well this thing that was not painted before was missing. Okay, but then we are going to apply this at the end of this type of decoration. We are going to apply it as well a little bit here. to have a little bit of add some brightness here okay we do the same at the bottom this was not done before forget it but we can do it now some highlights the bottom life at the bottom plate of this glaive. I will do also the other side. Uh, yeah, I will do the other side and I will back. So on the orb I'm going to apply uh, a hair, um, hair god. Okay, I want to give it a gloss looking this. Uh, um, the Harkon will give a nice look. We'll create the brightness, we'll create a glass look or at least a glass look that will give a quite interesting touch to this magical object. Try not to forget any space. And try to give uh, even surface without brush marks, marks. So brush marks, okay. I think now it's okay. And Next step, I'm going to take Agvax air shade and I will wash the blades uh, of the tail. Okay, we take Agvax air shade, not the glossy one, the normal. Okay, and we are going to apply this here, like that. Also, on so something like that to give this dirty look okay one side then we do the other side we check that we don't miss anything and that we don't have excessive wash for example here I have too much I remove it but I want to leave this part here a little bit darker. Okay. So we will let the wash okay. no it's okay. And I will wait that this dries. And while this is drying, now we can go back to the head. Okay, and we can keep working on the head. So let's put this apart, let's take the head, and I will work again on the hair of the head. Okay, so I will change my brush again, we'll go for thinner brush. Now we are going to apply, as I said before, administrative grey. 
this a much lighter gray and will give much contrast okay so we have to be a little bit joyful which hair we put that I will do it of course here and you try to do mainly the top of the hair okay something like that here I will go as well for the most external ones and then I will take some of the hair like this one Uh, the option is apply this as dry brushing. They prefer to do it like that to have more control where I do that. Especially because here the hairs are quite big. And you can use that to give to be choiceful what you apply. And then This part we are going to do the same that we did before, but with this hair, and we only do no the top line. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So we don't do them all; we just do some of them. Okay. That is very time consuming. I understand that. So you have to be patient. And I prefer this than doing a dry brushing first because the texture here is not that deep and I don't think dry brushing will help you too much okay so it's better to be patient and go like that then we do the opposite direction okay and we keep on going Okay, so I will keep doing that for the rest, and I will be back. This is how it looks like after applying administrator gray, and now I'm going to do a wash on on this, okay, on the braids. Okay, I'm going to use noon oil. And we're going to apply a brush, a, a wash on the braids. Okay, this will help again to soften all this grays. Will increase the, so I think will enhance uh, the work that we have done until now. Will kill a little bit the excess bright at some point, and will help to show. The texture. And normally I do the uh, yeah is the second using this almost like a glaze. Okay. It will help to correct if we have some mistakes. And if we have put the light gray in a recess, it will glow become much darker and will help on the final. Okay, so here we are. We can put this one like here a little bit. And I will put it at the base. So just in the top part of this. Now again we wait that this device and then back. 
So this is how it looks like once the wash has dried. Can you see that it's less small, the colors are more melt together. And now we are going to start working on the horns and also on the schools there. So I'm going to use Uzbati bone. We are going to give a base coat of Uzbati bone to the schools and to the horns. Okay, I will include as well on this the schools that are hanging from the horns, okay, see he has a lot of ornaments, or he or she, we don't know we never know the sex of his cavern so I will apply the base color here on the horns and then I will be back because we will start doing um, some wet blending on the horns to do some color transitions, okay so I will apply this base color because this will be the base for my painting and I'm back. So once we have applied the base coat, now I will use Rhinox Hide. Okay, I will use Rhinox Hide and Usbati Bone. I put them here and we are going to blend them on the horns. Okay, what we are going to do. So I will take, we'll make an intermediate uh, color there. And I will start by the top, start applying this dark brown. Okay, we are going we are going not going to go too low. I will keep mainly the flat area on this dark brown. Okay. So we are going to do this way is easier, so let's put some red sky here at the top. Okay, and you can see that we'll start blending. Okay. So we apply Rhinox height and we go down. And now we take a little bit of it's too dry my colors here are too dry. I will not go to the base of the so I will I will try to keep the the part that is the half texture with almost the bone color so I will just mark it now where I want to go okay and now I take bone color and I will go up okay you want to be somehow consistent let me take a little bit more of the wrong color. Don't yeah, don't pay too much attention now to the things that are hanging and to the this type of small roads or strings or cords or how you want to call these things. Okay. Then when you see that you're pulling out the paint, I suggest that you change to another horn, then come back to this one until the once the paint is dry. Okay, because there's a moment that it's not it's not working anymore. Because you pull the layer that you just applied, is a moment to let it dry and then you come back. Okay, for example here was mixing to, to down but I will come now with just with body bone and I will clean up a little bit this part okay I don't want to be that down right here do like that as well we pull up okay you see now it's better. Now I go to the top and I apply the dark color. We go with the body bone. Okay, 
mixed with Brunos height was too much I took it from the wrong place now it's so it's a matter of being patient and keep blending colors until you have the nice transition that you're looking for and here is going to be a little bit more difficult because we have the texture of these strings okay, and we, here we go you can even include a little bit of black at the end of the tip we are going to do this later now we work on the transition take a little more water and put it here you can do I will do the core next to it, I will let it dry, I will come back. So when we do the core next to it, again I start with a mixture, I don't start with a pure brown. And no, no, no. Remember that the bone has dry already, so the base core we apply, and now we come with the bone up, because we, do, we have mix, it's mixing everything. Okay, we have to again. I will focus on the flat part. There I go. I see that. Okay, now I go with Rhinos Guide. A mixture to help me. It's always to, it's good to have a, a mix, a mix color in your palette, so you you can help you on these transitions. Brown now. <coughs> Sorry. Here it have dry already. We go with darker color. We go with darker color here. Now we need to So here, because we have these things, it's making the, the transition a little bit more complicated. Here we want to light now. A little bit more of the darker. a little bit we will let dry these homes and we come back later on sometimes it's better to let it dry see how it looks like and then do some other do, do a little bit later on or clean up it's just a matter of going Okay. 
Okay, I will put now the camera in fast track so you will see how I do the other holes and how this is evolving. Here you see how I'm um, uh, moving on. So I will finalize the horns of camera to save time for you and I come back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to do a very soft dry brushing on the horns and I will use this time Flake One Flake. It's a little bit darker than the Uzbati bone. Uh, it's a little bit more cream color and use a very soft brush to do this uh, be, be very careful, so, okay? so I will try to dry brush, I don't have a very good shape this paint so I hope it's not messing up too much try to take okay, no, I dry it and I will go very very soft and the intention is to pop up the especially we do it here where we have okay we go very very soft we don't go to up to high with on the And we mainly do it here at the front, okay? We can go here a little bit too. To show the brightness of this, so we can do it like that. Okay. So here what I do is just tweak the little bit now of this body room. Yeah. 
want to pop up this texture And this will be enough. Now what I will do, I will take a brown, it's going to be like a scrag brown, okay, and I will clean up a little bit where the wash, or where the dry brush, sorry mess up a little bit okay so for example here that when I have a light point there in, in the process I will help now so I'm using a scrap brown to do that okay is a brown that will give a nice do it on all the places where I have a feeling that example here I feel like this is okay and it looks too orangey we can use as well more from brown to do that <coughs> like that the only last thing I will do no is I will use very little of black okay. sorry if this part of the tutorial is getting long but uh, yeah I was hesitating if I do another part but at the end there is not enough material to make a six part so I prefer to do this part a little bit longer I'm going to apply a little bit of black at the top of the tip, just very little. And when we have contours, this is going to be much easier to do because the contours will help to melt the color. Okay, but this will give this darker touch at the end. That looks almost nothing, but will make it really give the look the big one. Okay, and here we have now how the horns are looking like. Okay, this is really big horns. So next it's going to be here. I was thinking how to do all these strings that are holding the different objects of the the rat and I decide to go for a, a yeah here I, I, if we go for one color it's not going to be visible okay so we if we go for because I have some all these gradient colors so here yeah, there are two options we can make them green but then they're going to be too much contrasting okay we can go just for a color like dragon flesh or something like that and I think I will use, or we can use a grey. Okay, so I will use, in that case, um, downstone. Okay, it's a mid tone grey. Will be a wood compromise to show the different strings. And not to be, I don't want them to be. 
to pop up, right? I don't want them to be green and then show off. So I will use this gray. To do all these cords or strings or how. Okay. Okay, so this is. And I will do them all the same. I don't want this to look like, like a Christmas tree, right? We start applying here too many colors. He will look like a Christmas tree. So it's better to go for neutral colors at this point. So I will apply this. Okay, I will do this on all these things and on, on all these ornaments. And I'm back once this is done. Okay, once we have done all them, we are going to use no. Uh, we are going to give a Cooperish look on the bells and I will apply Jehenna's gold, okay, it's a reddish gold. I think we'll give a nice touch there. We have played with the golds a lot on this to have the different Cooper bronze looks. Okay, you'll see this is going is quite an orange gold and we are going to apply this on all the different belts. Okay, so we have here we are going to do all the bells in the same color. Again, uh, I don't want this to look like a Christmas tree with uh, a lot of colors and so on. So this is why I go for the bells. I think it makes sense to make them in this bronze cooperish look. Okay. So I'm going to paint all the bells and I'm back once this is done. Next, I'm going to apply Agrax Air Shade on all these ornaments. This will help also to have a nice definition of the strings uh, of these ornaments. But I also want to make these bells to look darker. Okay, so we go on top of the string and we we'll let it flow to the sides of this to get an interesting shading. Especially important to put the bottom of the bell. Okay, I'll zoom it in the inside. Then we do the back. These are the difficult parts. Okay, and we do this. Some parts are difficult access. Okay. Here I made the way I will do it. I will touch it later on. Always after all these steps, we will need to do some clean up. Okay, we can remove a little bit the excess. We keep going, okay. So I do all these ornaments, and I'm back for the next. Uh, I waited this right, of course. Uh, well, as the, we apply any wash, I like to wait this device completely for doing the next step. So I, uh, I apply a shade, and I waited this device. Okay, this is how they look like now with the wash. And I'm going to do, as I have done all the time, a second wash with green. We'll use this time Coelia green shade. We can use Beal time as well, but I prefer to use this time Coelia green shade. And we are going to apply this as well on the bells. Okay, to give uh, this uh, green and I prefer to, to go like that, you see. To have this green effect at the bottom. Of the bell, uh, we don't need to go to the inside, so you just mainly doing in this part. Here I like to I'll let it to pull a little bit down. Here, by mistake, I touch the horn. Okay, and we 
we do all these bells, this is too much, we put too much, we remove a little bit the excess, we just apply. A little bit there, there, there. Okay, we'll do all the other bells. Maybe touch it. Oh. Bar. This one, and then we need to do the bells here at the bottom. And I will with this device, and almost this is done. Okay, I with this device, and we are going to be here just for the last thing. We will do this device and I come back. Okay, so this hole looks like at this point. Okay, so I will just do some highlights on the schools and I will give it for Don. So we are going to pick up Uspati Bone again and I'm going to do the highlight. On the schools, which means that I'm going to apply a little bit here at the top. I will do this. At the same time, I check if the wash was well applied, and this case was not the case. So, if I see a mistake on the wash, I will also have the wash here set of insert in the case. Apply it a little bit. What is missing? Okay, but the intention no, just yes. to show you that sometimes you have to do some clean up of the washers. But I will apply this just. And then we'll come after that as well. What I always do once I have done the last step, I go and I check that all the other parts are well done. And I correct a mistake that I, I may have done. Okay, so I would work it here. ones here as well. Attention here is that the color is not just to also make them look pop up a little bit compared to the And here I will finalize. So I will give here the work done. 
Okay, so this hole looks like the paint job on the uh, Bermin Lord. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, it has been quite a long one with a lot of parts but uh, I wanted to go and I wanted to do some uh, quite a complete work here and I hope you like what you see. So as usual I want to thank everybody that have followed this tutorial. Uh, please let me know what do you think, I will love your comments and I want to thank a lot for watching this video and see you again later. Bye!